Cardiometabolic syndrome doubles your risk of cardiovascular disease. It triples your chance of having a heart attack or stroke, along with a host of other chronic conditions, including diabetes, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, sleep apnea, and cancer. With its long-standing history of innovation and improving the quality of care for patients, the Texas Heart Institute is launching a new effort to combat cardiometabolic syndrome. THI leaders Dr. Joseph Rogers and Dr. Stephanie Coulter convened medical experts and brought in CEO and founder of Thrive Global, Ariana Huffington, to illuminate all of the key components of foundational behavioral change and how those components can actually help prevent and treat cardiometabolic disease. Dr. Rogers, Ariana, and the Heartbeat team sat down to discuss the key linkage between well being and behavioral change. The focus of this conference really is on, on, on cardiometabolic disease, which, which is a key driver, not only of cardiovascular morbidity and mortality, but as we learn today, is influencing end-stage liver disease, cancer, mental health, dementia. And what is being predicted is that the incidence of cardiometabolic disease is going to worsen over the next several decades. Despite the fact that we have all of these wonderful drugs that treat high blood pressure and cholesterol, and now drugs that treat diabetes and obesity. And so there's a disconnect. And I think one of the interesting parts about collaborating with Thrive is it brings this other piece into the story. I think that we won't be successful unless we begin to address some of the systemic issues that our patients face. But part of that is addressing these key health behaviors that Thrive really focuses on, trying to build a more complete portfolio of a holistic approach to patients. Yes, and I think it is so important to have uh, the validation of a major scientist and scientific institution because we need to elevate behaviors beyond the kind of warm and fuzzy, nice to have categories to making them central to the health journey. It's also about the democratization of, of health for everyone, not just the, those that are in the socioeconomic you know, strata that are able to, to do all of these things. It's, it's really for everybody on the planet to, to become healthy. That is such a key point because right now um, health inequities are growing and we see that in the numbers. We have 130 million people with a chronic disease in this country. We are spending 18% of our GDP and growing on healthcare costs over $4 trillion and health outcomes are getting worse. 25% of the world's adult population is estimated to be living with cardiometabolic syndrome. Less than 7% of Americans have optimal cardiometabolic health. So tell me about the micro steps that you have created through Thrive Global. So our motto is micro steps too small to fail. If you take sleep, for example, and you create a transition to sleep, which is key, the first micro step is to charge your phone outside your bedroom. Now, 72% of people sleep with their phones on their nightstand or cuddled up in bed with them. <laughs> and if I tell you, put your phone away, it may seem like impossible. Well, you need it so, as an alarm is usually the exactly. Yeah. So Exactly. So we say, first of all, old-fashioned alarm <laughs> clocks, about $35, highly recommend them. We give them to people for holidays. No excuses. That's no excuses. But also, start with one night a week. Don't make the goal the enemy of starting. Yes. So whatever the, the step, break it down to something that's doable. And um, that's really what changes outcomes because then you build success. Learning to modulate the stress response in everyday situations is vital for long-term health and well-being. In today's world, the fight or flight response can be triggered by non-life-threatening stressors like work deadlines, public speaking, 
relationship conflicts, financial worries, and traffic. While the fight or flight response is helpful for true emergencies, frequent or chronic activation due to everyday stress can be detrimental to health and contribute to issues like high blood pressure, anxiety disorders, depression, digestive problems, and sleep issues. The fight or flight response is triggered by the sympathetic nervous system. We know from science that it takes 60 to 90 seconds to move us from the sympathetic to the parasympathetic nervous system. Building on this scientific discovery, a simple 60 second reset, focusing on breathing, gratitude, and images that bring us joy can turn the fight or flight response around. Modern science is validating ancient wisdom. In Japan, it's the concept of ma, M-A, which literally means pause. And that is so key, and modern life has lost that. We literally go from one thing to another, to another, to another, we multitask, and we think it's making us more productive, but it's not. But it's inefficient, correct. It's making us less efficient and more stressed. So if we can integrate these concepts of the pause, reset, ma, and it's really focusing on our breath. You know, we breathe all the time, but we breathe unconsciously. So breathing consciously is incredibly important. And, you know, I tell busy executives who say, Ariana, I don't have time. Well, you know, Navy SEALs do it. The Texas Heart Institute is partnering with Thrive Global on a unique public education series that focuses on how the five foundational behaviors, sleep, food, movement, stress management, and connection, impact people's health, including managing chronic diseases such as cardiometabolic syndrome. So tell me about the partnership that the Texas Heart Institute has with Thrive Global. Well, we're very excited to partner with um, PHI to create these videos, which we see as an ongoing collaboration uh, with doctors and scientists who, as well as there are the huge contributions to medicine, believe in behavior change and behavioral empowerment, as you called it because we feel it's going to elevate the importance of daily behaviors in terms of people's health. And so many of the people that we've recruited to do these videos have integrated these behaviors into their lives. Yes. And so they are not speaking just from, from the perspective of science and medicine, but from They're a very twins. personal perspective that these are the things that I've been able to do and this is how I've and integrated them into my healthy behaviors. When you think of how busy doctors are when they see patients, if we have a series of videos, and at the end of the visit, the doctor can say, here's a link. You can watch these videos about these five key behaviors. You have to give people tangible information that's tangible, and a lot of people prefer to consume it in video form. We'll also have it in text form, but making it easier for people. We also spoke about how new technology can be used to leverage things like AI to promote healthy outcomes and well being in everyone. Thrive AI Health was um, funded um, by Thrive and OpenAI, as well as the Alice Walton Foundation and Eli Lilly to affect health outcomes, scale and democratize the knowledge we have. So I think it's so important to use the power of AI to hyper-personalize nudges and recommendations. Lifestyle modification plays a crucial role in preventing and managing chronic diseases and the Texas Heart Institute is dedicated to pioneering better ways for patients to work with their doctors to develop sustainable, long-lasting, healthy habits. Visit Texas Heart TV to learn more about how you can partner with your doctor to prevent cardiovascular syndrome and its consequences. Also look for our final episodes in THI and Thrive Global's new series this fall. For The Heartbeat, I'm Maya Pomroy.